Big Brother Big Sisters of America needs your help. The charity has more than 38,000 kids looking for mentors. And it needs more than people just volunteering their time. The group needs money as well. In order to meet its needs, the 100-year-old organization is doing something it has never done before. Fox's Casey Stiegel explains what it is. I want to see your new bike. When Joe Egender came into this teenager's life six years ago... He was you know, having some trouble both in school and, and at home. Bill's father had problems with drugs, and he now lives with his grandmother. Without Joe, I don't know where I would be at. I would probably be like, I, don't know, I wouldn't be in high school right now. The two were paired up through the Big Brothers Big Sisters program when Bill was just eight years old. I got very lucky because I got Bill, who has been... Um, just an amazing little brother. Big Brothers Big Sisters has been mentoring America's youth since 1904. Our focus is on at-risk children all over the U.S. and we bring uh, volunteer mentors into their lives. But the recession hit them hard. For the first time since the organization began, it's rolling out ad campaigns, not only asking for volunteers, but financial assistance as well. Our donations have gone down nationally, and our need has gone up. Up by about 35% to be exact, meaning more than 38,000 kids are on waiting lists around the country. There are more families who are, you know, holding down two jobs, Kids who are not in, you know, they only have a single parent. They have a parent that's incarcerated. Studies show when kids have a positive role model in their lives, they're 50% more likely to stay in school, off the streets, and off drugs. Yeah, I do that. Huh? Joe and Bill are textbook examples of that. Bill is now out of trouble and on the road to college. I know I can do it. I, I can, like, I can go to regular school. I can, like, pass my classes. It takes about $1,000 a year to pair one child with one adult. But the organization says that's a relatively small figure when you see the difference it can actually make. In Los Angeles, Casey Stiegel, Fox News. And the national headquarters for Big Brothers Big Sisters, of course, is right here in Philadelphia.